From the station with the most local news in our West Michigan, Fox 17 News at 10 starts right now. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Josh Berry. I'm Jamie Sherrod. First at 10, the war in Israel is escalating and the effects can be felt right here in the United States. President Biden confirmed today that 11 U.S. citizens have died in the recent fighting. And cities throughout the nation are ramping up security around houses of worship as the administration sends more support to the region. The USS Gerald R. Ford Carrier Strike Group is moving to the eastern Mediterranean Sea to help Israel deter Hamas and Iranian-backed militias. The president also says it's likely that Americans may be among the hostages Hamas has captured. The militant group is threatening to start killing those hostages if, Israel, if, if Israeli attacks don't stop. The Biden administration says it is working closely with both Israel and Qatar. Officials in Qatar are in contact with Hamas about the hostage situation. And as tensions escalate, Israeli and Palestinian supporters are holding rallies across the U.S. Major cities, including Houston, Miami and Washington, D.C., are also increasing security at houses of worship. In New York, the NYPD deployed its Critical Response Command and Anti-Terrorism Unit, but officials say there are no specific credible threats against the city. Meanwhile, the Biden administration is expected to announce more support for Israel in the coming days. Here in Michigan, Governor Whitmer made her position on the issue abundantly clear today. It's an evolving situation as we're watching unfold every minute, and I am grateful that I've got so many wonderful um, friends and counsel in the Jewish community who keep me apprised and I'm unequivocally supportive of Israel and um, they have a right to defend themselves. There's been a massive loss of life um, and it's heartbreaking to see what's happening and the images coming out of Israel. She made her comment after a roundtable on reproductive rights. This follows a social media post she made over the weekend that drew a lot of condemnation. Many felt it was insensitive of her to fail to say she stands with Israel in her initial post. And people locally continue to show their support for Israel. This evening, dozens of people gathered in downtown Grand Rapids to pray for peace. Fox 17's Marisa Oberly brings us their message. Jewish people in West Michigan called this past weekend's attack horrific and say it caused many of them to worry about their family and friends who live there. Through prayer and song. A few dozen people came together in support of Israel at Calder Plaza in Grand Rapids on Monday. Over the weekend, Hamas, an Islamic militant group, launched a surprise attack on the country, which left hundreds dead and thousands of others injured. Yeah, it's been pretty crazy. Like, like my, my dad hasn't gone to bed. We've just been watching the news basically nonstop, like scrolling through social media, just wanting to see more updates about it. Tomer and Jekko spent the first six years of his life in Israel, but currently lives in the area. He came out to pray after a few worried filled days over a cousin taken hostage who's now safe. It's one of my mom's relatives. I don't even know him, but just like hearing about it, it's kind of like, oh my gosh, like it is someone part of my family. Like but we need to know and hear back right away. For the most part, my family is in areas right now that haven't been affected, but everyone's affected by the sirens and the missiles that are fired over Israel and going into bomb shelters. David Chrischef, the rabbi at Congregation Ahavas Israel says his synagogue planned the gathering alongside Temple Emmanuel in the Shabbat house. The attack coincided with two Jewish holidays, which he says adds fear among members. The Jewish community has not felt completely safe and secure for, for several years, really since Pittsburgh or a little bit before that. Uh, so this just reinforces our sense that there are people in this world who are not good people, and uh, we just need to keep our eyes open, watch, uh, be careful. Khrushchev wants people to stand by their side in the coming weeks. The, su the support is important because there are people out there who are not good people, mm -hmm. and, and we need people watching out for us. We need to know that we can rely on on most of the people here in Grand Rapids to to be our allies. Now at this evening's vigil, they shared ways to support Israel during this time. If you would like to donate, you can find links on our website at fox17online.com to do so. Reporting in Grand Rapids, Maurice Oberly, Fox 17 News.